Alright guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. As you guys can see, I already have my Overlord Team Comp ready, and they're, they've been doing extremely well, especially in damage. I just already passed my score inside of Golem, and actually it's passed it by a lot, and they're just pretty much base at the moment. And our World Bosses have gotten an upgrade in an appearance, which is really nice. So yeah, definitely came up with some damage. I guess we could compare it, couldn't we? Yeah, it definitely went up there. Nice. So I did get rid of Percy's and Metas and Helios. For, uh, for Momo and Ban. But speaking of Momo and Ban, um, they're going through some issues at the moment. These two are currently bugged. So if you guys have been noticing Ban and Momo getting one-shotted or getting taking a whole bunch of damage, and they're supposed to be tanks, they're, they don't supposed to be taking a crap ton of damage like right off the bat, especially since they're overlords. They're supposed to have like a lot of defense, a lot of tankiness. And the reason I say they're bugged, I've noticed this last night. Where's the defense stats? Can we talk about that? Where is our defense rating? Like, our characters are fully geared. Like, look at that. Gear is all on it. I haven't farmed my other gears. They're still over here, you know, getting ready. But, yeah. Compared to these two. Defense rating's there. Everything's just fine. And same over here. Defense is fine. And they've been tanking quite a bit. But for some reason, the devs kind of screwed up and gave both of these guys zero defense rating. Which I was actually pretty shocked with what was going on. I mean, they're still doing a crap ton of damage. It's just that their tankiness is gone just because of this whole bug that's going on. But, with that said, I'm just letting you guys know that they're a little bit bugged right now. And I'm guessing they're going to be working to fix it today, maybe? I mean, it's currently the knife right now. Um, so, probably, or hopefully, next week they'll fix them. Because I'm pretty sure they won't do, like, an emergency update anymore. Even though they had an emergency update last night, which didn't really aim towards fixing them. Which was pretty odd to me. But anywho, most of the time I'll go into Nebula just to test out my team and see how much damage I can dish out compared to everybody else. And it's real good. Nebula is now found inside of uh, the challenger areas, which is really nice. Alright, there we go. Everything's showing up now. It takes it a long time for the scores to actually show. I like to see what everybody else is using too. Compared to me. Oh jeez. Oh. Man, that's some good damage. That is some good damage. I cannot wait for a guild adventure, to be honest. I'm dying to try out this team. Sadly, last night I could farm just because of the whole maintenance thing popped up. But, yeah, tonight I'll be grinding. So a lot more things have been added and I kind of want to look at. Uh, where's the... Okay. No, it just takes us back here. We don't just change automatically. Okay. That's weird. I was thinking to myself, if it's not going to pop up on settings, it's probably going to pop up if I click this character. But that's also weird. So you don't have to go out to change your name, change your titles, which is actually pretty nice because logging out just to change your title was really annoying. Uh, you can go to Challenger Dungeon from there, apparently. Okay. Oh, it just takes you straight into Challenger. That's, an, that's a nice shortcut. What else? What else? Uh, rooms. Currently, 
my runes have been upgraded to eh, pretty standard at the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure the cap has been increased for the runes, if I'm not mistaken. Because we're already hitting like 41. I mean, that's a, that's at least what I want to guess. I haven't hit cap yet. Well, I didn't hit cap before it was increased if it was. Alright, so I also want to say one thing before my guild tries to blame me for anything. This right here was not my fault. All I did was fight the first mob and somehow I got 12% out of just that one mob. It was literally the first mob and they were level 18. So pretty much the mobs count as more HP for the stages now. So we gotta be even more careful. So for now on, I'm gonna avoid using the strong team in area five. So apparently with that change, it's way easier to finish guild loot now. All right, what else we have on the table? We have PVP. We don't have the beginner symbol since we've been in the game for a long time now. Um, ROB is upgraded. Um, I haven't been able to finish it <laughs> again. I stopped at round eight, wave one, and then got demolished. So yeah, they definitely broke out the damage. But I have a feeling that I could easily do it when Ban and Momo, like, defense is fixed. Which they should be prioritizing right now because, because two of your best overlords are kind of hindered right now because they can't stay on a field long enough. I know a lot of other people have noticed it too, the whole bug going on with them, which is unfortunate. Um, Orcs did get a difficulty boost. Um, I was only able to finish this boss. These three were out of the question. So, yeah. Def definitely a lot of difficulty added to this. Like, at least I made it to here, at least. But yeah, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and do Cerberus with the Overlords. I know that I don't supposed to be putting magic users in here, but... I'm curious, to be honest. I'll change it back if I have to. Okay, why did I do that? Go back. Uh, where is Raven Girl? She'll be perfect to team up with, um, Aaron. You too, actually. All right, let's see how this goes. I just want to see how much damage. I, I wonder if they can out damage my physical team with just this setup. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely doing it. But the only issue is that he's probably gonna be doing a lot of damage to these two now. Yeah, they're gonna They're gonna fill his wrap in a few seconds. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Chin is actually uh keeping them alive. Chin is really good at max, I can definitely say that. She's basically like um, a way greater version of Black. Like, she's insanely good. Because once you get her to Black, no matter which skill she uses, the first skill or the second skill, it'll pretty much revive and deal damage over time because the two trees are fused together, basically. So she's definitely worth um, enhancing, but Aaron should be your top priority of maxing. The reason I haven't been working on her is because I don't really have the souls right now. I'm pretty much just going with the flow. At the moment, I'm not really prioritizing anybody to enhance, I'm just letting it happen naturally. And here I thought that this was going to go horribly wrong. But then again, I'm pretty sure further into the battle, he's going to be able to one-shot the group. 
All right, you're at the calm down with your little fireballs. Yeah, Ben. I think Ben has the worst of it. Momo has been doing just fine with me. Uh, ben is the only person who's been really dying out of my group. Momo, on the other hand, is probably the second person who's been dying, but not as much as Ben. I'll pretty much give you guys a rundown of why I chose these four after this. So, I'll see you guys as soon as we're done. By the way, Ban is back and he's still doing damage. Ah, Jin is so nice. Alright, update on what's going on. Ban and, and Momo have been getting bullied this whole time. They definitely need to fix the whole defense thing. Because these guys would definitely survive. Because Jin and Aaron have not died at all. Not even Raven Gill or Margaret or my cancer have died. Only these two have. That needs to be fixed. Like, right away. Like, you can't have an issue for your overlords. It's, well, especially any ally like that for too long. And plus, people aren't going to be very happy just because they want it to be able to be Guild Adventure ready. Because a lot of people like doing Guild Adventure. Oh, my character finally died. But I'm, ha I'm having a feeling that people will dislike what's going on, especially around Guild Adventure. If their units start getting one-shotted, especially since Guild Adventure has pretty much been upgraded. Nah, I don't know how they're going to take that, but we, we shall see. Let me know in the comments how you guys are going to deal with it. But we have two more minutes, so I'll see you guys at the end of those two minutes, and we'll see how the score is. I mean, at the moment, you can see how the score dramatically changed, but let's go see the final score. All right, we're at the end, and there is our score. Oh, so beautiful. But, Ben and Momo, they've just been bullied through this whole thing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I like to see that often. See, that's why I say she's really good. Her damage, DPS, and buffs are really amazing. So I guess I'll give you guys the rundown of why I chose each of these characters. Um, the reason that I chose Ben is just because he's a really good tank DPS and he opens up enemies to so much damage. One, his first skill decreases defense by 47%. His, even, even his normal attacks decrease defense. His second skill increases damage on those who are stunned by 88%. Like, actually insane and his stun time is insane too literally 10 seconds of being stunned I don't think anybody wants to be stunned for 10 seconds that's enough time just to get yourself murdered now here's another thing that I loved about him his third skill which is pretty much uh, what I enjoy seeing him use inside of PvP so you guys know the whole drawing stance he goes into Pretty much any time he's hit, he counters, removes a buff from the enemy, and the attack never misses. The counter literally never misses. He gets increased damage as well, and it's, it's just overall insane. He's actually really good, but at the moment, considering the whole defense thing is going on, I'm pretty sure you're not going to see him around until that's fixed, which hopefully it is soon. Um, the second reason I took him is because of his increases in stats. He has a really good uh, physical attack and increases all your main stats and your stamina for the whole group. That's another reason why I got him. Next, he decreases the attack of all enemies and increases damage they receive by 65%. Like I said, this man opens up so much damage to enemies that it's actually pretty insane. 
His uh, third passive is pretty much for um, PvP and bosses as well. Pretty much any like enemies who are killed by this skill cannot be revived. Which is nice. I definitely don't want anybody reviving. So yeah, I, I could definitely recommend him as soon as he's fixed. So his max skill is kind of like Death Crown. It's like the whole dragon thing when he's attacked. When he's attacked, he has a chance to summon a dragon, I'm pretty sure. That's what it is. Um, so when hit, he inflicts damage on all enemies and additional damage per buff. So if they have buffs on them, that's going to hurt. So it really depends on how many buffs they have. So I wouldn't stack buffers if I were you guys, especially if you're going up against the ban. Because then you're just going to get the ban hammer. No? No? I, I can't make that joke? Okay. <laughs> and not only that, they take more damage, well, more physical damage, and they get silenced. That really hinders, especially if Ben's in, like, a tanky spot, yeah, then yeah, he's gonna be doing quite a bit to your team. Next is his Vogar. His Vogar overpower decreases all enemies attack by 14%. So basically that's going to help out with um, everybody tanking a lot of hits. Next I chose Chin just because she's a fantastic healer. But the thing that hinders her the most is that she can only summon one tree at a time. That's why you need her max. The reason you need her max is because it fuses the trees together. So both buffs are going to be going off. Then. There's basically no point of having these two except for just to spam over and over again. But yeah, so if she summons Tree of Life, um, Tree of Death is going to be fused with it and is going to be doing damage and healing and reviving. If she summons Tree of Death, Tree of Life is going to be fused with it and then you guys pretty much know what's going to go on. She's pretty much going to heal the whole team like... Her heals are insane, the buffs are insane. You get increased attack of 150% for 12 seconds. And once it goes through every last stage, pretty much there's four stages. There's one that just starts sprouting four times. And the more it goes, the more damage you get increased and more HP starts healing back. Not only that, when Tree of Light hits its like fourth stage it pretty much revives an ally and they get invulnerability for 12 seconds which is pretty much enough time for the next tree of life to go out and heal the next another reason why i chose her because it's her third skill it pretty much dispels all debuffs from your team so you guys are barely going to be seeing any debuffs on a team with chin in it just because it's literally on nearly a six second cooldown and it goes by pretty fast so yeah it's not a healing or anything but it does increase your attack and random damage by a lot and it stacks twice so that's like even more damage stacked on so another thing is chen pretty much has black skill where she can revive herself after a few seconds um chen is 12 seconds i'm pretty sure blacks is 10 seconds right Hold on, let's go look at that. Pretty sure it is. Oh no, seven seconds actually. And she has a cooldown on hers. I'm pretty sure Chin doesn't have a cooldown on hers since hers is like way longer than Black's. So yeah, keep that in mind. Another reason why I chose her because of her third passive as well. Increases the party members main stats and stamina and attack like i said she's an overall fantastic buffer and support you guys definitely need her in a group she's amazing get her to max if you guys can after you get aaron there but the reason i chose aaron is because she's insane in dps any of her skills has a chance to summon one of her beasts and she just ditches out like insane damage, insane buffs as well. Um, I'll let you guys read all that. That that's way too much for me. <laughs> but her passives, oh boy, 
Oh boy. These are aimed towards boss. So bosses are going to be taking a crap ton of damage. As you can see, it increases random damage and boss damage. Um, increases main stats and attack for her two guardians here. The wolf and the frog. And sometimes you guys can see the red frog that pops up too. Um, I don't remember which one of these um, actually summons that one. But yeah. So she basically has three summons. And both of those frogs are up there on the same time from what I've actually realized and witnessed. Alright, she also has additional boss damage when guardians appear on the field. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Right? <laughs> and her max, which is pretty much the bread and butter of her, increases the damage received on all enemies when the wolf is summoned and when the frog is summoned will increase the whole party's attack by 94%. So that just adds on so much more damage. And like I said, she's a crazy DPS. Like she's been succeeding in everything. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys just see her on the top ranking of all modes just because of how insane she is. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys the um, normal attacks. Pretty much has a chance to hit all enemies or kill allies. Pretty much like Blacks. Aaron, she just pretty much increases attack of your allies or damages all of the enemies. And Momo pretty much shows him for his defense decrease too. And the fact that he can actually sustain himself with heals. And plus he has... Eh, a little bit of fixed damage there and another reason why I love him is because he's also a healing support his first skill pretty much puts on like these um earth blessings and pretty much what those earth blessings do they inflict additional damage well additional fixed damage when getting hit and plus they heal so actually so that's actually really nice they got some sustain added on. Um, his second skill, what was that one? Oh yeah, this one's increasing attack and additional attack. Gains Earth Might for all allies. Yeah, see? Something else to increase and buff. Like, he's a really good buffer. I It's insane, actually of how good he is compared to um, Aaron. I'm pretty sure him and Aaron are... Well, I can't... Hmm. Well, I kind of want to say Shin and Momo are their best buffers. Aaron, she has some really good buffs, but she is mostly just pure damage. So, yeah, we're going to say that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, he has a chance to increase um, enemies' active skills to force them into cooldown for 10%. Which is actually pretty annoying when you actually think about it. We get ready to use a skill and automatically just like, oh hey, you know that skill you're about to use? Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a, wait a while to use it again. And this one kind of confused me. All damage received by enemies increased by 40%? And this only stacks eight times I kind of feel like they're talking about increases your active cooldown I I don't know that would be pretty broken if that's what that meant um, if somebody could clarify that one to me his third skill kind of confused me but it was it sounded really interesting to have active skill go on cooldown I did also choose him for the defense buff and the stat increase for everybody I definitely wanted the defense Oh yeah, I just forgot something too. I forgot to put on skill cards. I keep forgetting skill cards. Um, some of you guys probably forgot those too. <laughs> I just reminded you guys. Yeah, put on skill cards. When dealing a normal attack, she has to recover HP. Oh. So, pretty much your allies have a chance to recover HP. And... 
and get their attack increased. Ah, so beautiful. And the last one just pretty much increases the whole party's attack. And his max pretty much increases um, Earth Blessing times two. So now you're going to have up to six Earth Blessings. So that means more damage and more healing. And you have your fixed damage increase by times two. So instead of just holding, I'm pretty sure three of these, yeah, you can have up to six. So that's pretty much times two. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to go over the vulgar skills. Um, Momo's vulgar skill pretty much decreases all enemies, well, stamina by 10%. Means less work. Eren, um, she increases physical damage by all enemies. Oh, physical damage received by enemies. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna... That's gonna really hurt, actually. And she's magic, too, so she's pretty much just helping out um, Ban. And Momo, too. I'm pretty sure Momo is physical. At least that's what I want to say. Momo is physical. Uh, yeah, Momo's physical. So yeah, she's pretty good for our physical team. So good thing I did show the ban. The only one who is magic based is Chin. And she increases damage received. Uh magical wise. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much why I chose these four and why I'm gonna focus on them first before I start making any other overlord. Uh these four are my main focus and they're they go so good together that's one reason why I chose them I pretty much thought this out before they were, <laughs> were like released if you want a magic team um, I guess Rin Ren and Chin and Aaron will probably be the best for you guys along with Momo but this is more of my physical team so yeah with that said I'm gonna leave it <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys with that because I just wanted to check out the updates, a few things here and there. Um, nothing like extremely major or long. Uh, we do have more story, which I'll pick up on next week. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out. Oh yeah, before we end, new login rewards. Log in, get all the glorious prizes because these are really nice and plus you're going to need these just for the overlords just saying so get started peace out Swear it's gonna get better real soon don't let anyone tell you what you should do i got a clear view we're gonna make it soon just keep pushing through yo what you got to lose yo what you got to lose you got to lose. Cause what you got to lose.